Hello and welcome to another Dragon Ball Fighters video today. TGN Anime presents a character profile for Cooler. Cooler is a big guy with a lot of invulnerability in many of his moves. Use this to counter your opponent and scare him with your big boy muscles. But before all that good and vulnerable stuff, I just want to start by talking about some of his unique normals. For instance, pretty much all of his medium attacks have very good range. Cooler is a scary character from this medium distance, since he'll reach most character before the other characters reach him. Very, very scary stuff in neutral. He doesn't have a low light, so if that's a deal breaker for you, well, he doesn't, and I cannot change that fact. But he does have a bunch of weird stuff going on with his heavy attacks which make him really really cool. First up, his standing heavy charges at the enemy and if he doesn't block, Cooler just grabs him, drags him across the screen and then spends that smash attack. If the smash attack has already been spent, then it looks more like a normal heavy attack but before the smash attack has been spent, this makes corner carry combos a lot easier with Cooler since he just travels most of the distance with his standing heavy. Then we have forward and the heavy attack button, this is a low attack. Hey, he doesn't have a low light but he's got a low heavy that he can randomly insert into a block string or a combo even and then his down forward heavy attack button is this lunging forward attack that has a ton of invulnerability to projectiles this thing just goes through projectiles no problem the invulnerability does not apply to physical kill attacks so if you're getting punched this is not a good option but it's great for closing in the distance against zoners it's like it's a perfect counter for most of Frieza stuff now if you land this move it can be hard to follow it up you can cancel into a special attack but then you'll most likely need a vanish or an assist to combo from it. Finally, his down heavy in the air causes a wall bounce similar to Beerus and Cell, which means you need to take a different route if you want to go into a sliding knockdown. You can't just do the same combo as always, but also you can't jump cancel his down heavy. So after the smash, if you go for the usual Saiyan combo, the down heavy jump cancel will miss and also you will not get the sliding knockdown. And I think that about does it for unique normals, let's move on to his special attacks. First up is Death Flash with quarter circle forward and the special button. It's a full screen beam attack that can can be done both on the ground or in the air. Pretty similar to your standard Kamehameha, but with a slower startup. I saw videos of people saying it was slow, but only when I got my hands on the character, I realized that damn, this thing was really super slow, a lot slower than I expected. It's something you definitely don't want to use recklessly. It's super easy to react to it and punish you for whiffing. Next, we have the Death Shaker with quarter circle backwards and the special button. This is a full screen, low attack with a pretty fast activation. This is great to include in block strings with an assist to cover for the gap or use it with an assist to take this attack into a combo because since this is a special attack it can be hard to follow it up you're going to need that assist or a vanish moving on to his special attacks first we have the death chaser with quarter circle forward and an attack button this works both on the ground or in the air and it's a dive kick both the aerial and grounded versions are overhead attacks they must be blocked while standing and the differences between the different attack buttons are the following the light attack version is the fastest causing only a small knockdown if it hits the medium attack version is slower but causes a bigger knockdown and the heavy attack version has the speed of the light and the effect of the medium at the cost of one bar of meter. All of these options are pretty slow though, so it can be tough to put them into a combo. Even the light and the heavy versions don't go naturally into a combo, so getting that sliding knockdown is either going to require an assist or a different combo ender, something like the Deathbreaker with quarter circle backwards and an attack button. This is an upwards knee move with a ton of invulnerability, a DP that works both on the ground or in the air. The light attack version is faster, but doesn't really have that many invulnerability frames. The medium attack version has a lot more invulnerability frames, but a slower startup. And the heavy attack is the best of both worlds as usual at the cost of one bar of meter. This is a very similar move to Super Saiyan Vegeta's knee, and we've all seen the mileage that Vegeta gets out of it. It's an amazing tool to have in this game, without a doubt. The difference between this move and Vegeta's is mainly the fact that you can choose how to follow it up by pressing another attack button, which just makes this the best DP in the game right now. After the knee, if you press the light attack button, Cooler will knock the opponent down to the opposing side. If you press the medium attack button, he'll knock them down to the same side. And if you press the heavy attack button, it costs one bar a meter and you'll switch sides, but Cooler will actually follow up with the dive kick, giving you a much better O key. So if you use the heavy attack version of the knee, followed by the heavy follow up, you can actually spend two bars of meter on this. Be careful not to burn it all up. The heavy attack follow up makes it a lot easier for you to follow up with uh, pressure on wake up and also 
also easy to follow up with a super as well. This is also his assist move, but Cooler does not follow up with the second hit. The assist is only the first part of the special with the rising knee. Moving on to his supers, Cooler's got three of them, a level one on the ground, a level one in the air, and a level three that can be done in both places. His grounded level one is Death Crasher with quarter circle forward and the right bumper or trigger. Cooler rushes at the opponent, grabs them, pushes them into a corner, and then switches sides. It's like he doesn't like the corner or something. This move is vulnerable on startup, but after the animation plays out, this just goes through everything. It even goes through supers. At the very start, it's vulnerable though, so don't use this as you would use a raw level 3 for instance, but you can use it on reaction to punish a reckless level 1. His aerial level 1 is death drop, also with quarter circle forward and the right bumper or trigger. Cooler envelops himself in energy and dives downward, similar to Frieza's level 3 super. But you know, this is actually a level 1, so expect a lot less damage and obviously no hard knockdown. Finally, his level 3 is the atomic super Nova with quarter circle backwards and the right bumper or trigger, and this behaves very differently depending on whether you do it on the ground or in the air. The super animation is basically the same, and the damage as well, but the activation is completely different. While on the ground, it activates on a counter. You will see this aura surrounding Cooler, and if he gets attacked by anything, it will teleport behind the target and take him into the level 3 animation. This works when countering melee attacks, when countering ranged attacks, supers even, everything goes. When you see the aura, don't touch Cooler, which means safe jumps with instant air dash into heavy attacks, these are no longer safe if Cooler decides to level 3 on wake up. In the air, the activation is quite different. Cooler lunges forward slightly and grabs the target. This is indeed a command grab, it cannot be blocked. When coming in from the assist position, this is also the version he goes for, otherwise he would just stand there with this counter aura and not actually do a level 3 and that would be stupid. So when you DHC Cooler in, he's gonna do the command grab. As far as auto combos go, when you press the light attack button, he does this. A couple of notes about this light attack auto combo. You may have noticed that first of all, Cooler switches sides, which goes hand in hand with a lot of his side switching moves. So when you're on the wrong side, maybe use the auto combo instead of your normal BNB. But another note and very important big note about this auto combo, on block, this is not a true block string. And this is true for a lot of Cooler's moves since he is a bit slow. But even the first three attacks of the auto combo can be reflected. If a character has a DP, they can reverse the rolls, they can roll level three, and they can do all of this between the first and second hits of the auto combo, or even between the second second and the third. This whole auto combo is fake news on block, very very dangerous to use in the block string. And then we have his medium attack auto combo which does this. And now that we know his abilities, here are some tips on how to use this character. Cooler allows you to play a game that not a lot of other characters do, and that's the role of a powerhouse, a character that just pushes through anything the opponent throws at him, with well-timed moves that have a ton of invulnerability frames. Let's recap, for the sake of it, the moves that have invulnerability. His level 3, obviously, his level 1 after the animation plays out goes even through supers, his deathbreaker is probably the best DP in the game right now, and you've got his down forward heavy which just goes through any projection. Projectile. Supers not included, this move does not go through supers. Cooler is a technical character, a character with lots of tools that let you steal turns and punish your opponent for reckless actions, but in a game as fast as Dragon Ball Fighters, not everyone can have those kinds of reactions, not everyone is gonna know how to read the opponent that well. So not everyone can play this character to its full potential. And if you take anything away from this video, this video that is a breakdown for a paid DLC character, I want it to be the following. This is a technical character that not everyone can play effectively. That said, if you're confident in your skills and you like the moveset that you see, then go right ahead and buy this guy because he's gonna have a mean neutral. Even though his key blasts are nothing to write home about, having a beam attack is always great, even if it's as slow as coolers. That, that just means you can't be as reckless with it. You just have to be a bit more measured. It covers a good amount of the screen, you can do it while jumping. Don't underestimate this tool, just don't use it all the time because it's easy to punish it. Outside of the beam attack, he's got a full screen low attack which is incredibly easy to catch unaware opponents. And then if you get into that mid-range, against most characters, the neutral is just yours. Because pretty much all of his mediums have this insane range. He reaches the enemy characters before the enemy characters have any chance of reaching him. Now, he doesn't seem to be the biggest damage dealer. He's certainly decent, but most of his high damage combos I've seen definitely need assists. And another thing he lacks is just good OK setups. Like, he needs to spend a bar to have a good setup off of an aerial combo. Or just have an assist ready to help him out at the end of a combo 
combo so he can go into a dive kick. Other than that, he's not that good at OK. He's not that good at applying pressure after knocking an opponent down. Also, most of his supers actually remove the enemy from the corner. Heck, even if you are facing the opposite side, his supers still don't fully put the enemy anywhere near the corner. So he's definitely got some flaws. He's gonna have trouble keeping up the pressure after a full combo. But since he's got a lot of tools for winning the neutral, I think in the end, that might be a fair trade. Thank you very much for watching another character profile for Dragon Ball Fighters. For now, we have all the characters done. Season 1 is in the books. If you missed any character from Season 1, check out the playlist up there. Every video on this channel, every live stream on this channel is bush powered by fans like you. Head over to Patreon, find out how you can help us out like these top supporters on the left. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku and I'll see you guys next time. Boy.